Our next presenters are from the Mosquito Joe Pest Control franchise. We had an extraordinary cohort of six different Mosquito Joe franchises from around the country. Amy and Sarah are the two standouts of an amazing group, uh, both for their tenacity and for their amazing results. But what we have found here at BizHack is that working with franchisees, especially in the home services and pest control space, uh, has become a specialty of ours. Uh, and we love Mosquito Joe. Uh, Amy Rieger of Mosquito Joe of Greensburg, Johnstown, and Sarah Bess of Mosquito Joe of Northwest Florida, followed by their marketing coach, Nathan, who, uh, uh, Nathan Kruger, who runs his own pest control company in Las Vegas. Congratulations, Amy. So that's a hard act to follow, and we are Mosquito Joe of Northwest Florida. I'm Sarah Best, and uh, Amy did such a good job. We have a different journey, so we get to the same place with a different journey. Um, again, I'm in Northwest Florida, and let's see here. This is my, um, can you guys see that? This is my business story, so a little bit different. I didn't have a yard growing up. I only had apartments. I had a single mom who was a biochemist, and you can see her on the left. That's her today. Um, we moved everywhere and lived in tiny apartments with no yard, and I was always envious of those people that had houses and pets and families and yards because it was just me and her in apartments. Um, the good news was that she was a super strong influence on me, and I ended up going into the Air Force. I was not afraid of travel. Um, but I always kind of wanted that home, that family, those dog, the dog. And we ended up, I ended up marrying my husband, Sean. He's still flying with the Air Force. And there we are together when we were deployed um, in, we were in Qatar and Kuwait. And then we have four kids now and we have the yard and the dog, but, and it's the home space I always wanted, but we live in Florida. So we have mosquitoes, they are thick. And when we first moved here, seven, almost eight years ago, we could not go outside. And you can see the picture there of my son gets these bites, especially the youngest of the twins. And it was really, really um, hard to deal with. So we needed a solution. Never thought I'd go from the Air Force to pest control, but it seems actually now like have, having gone through this course, like it makes sense. So I'm sorry, it's a little blurry, but here's the pillars. I did five different um, campaigns. The first um, was the, I wanted to just get the awareness. So the video views is what I wanted for the thumb stopping video. And I did a happy dog. Everybody likes dogs and happy ones. So he's happy because he doesn't have fleas, ticks, mosquitoes. Um, and I, it targeted mostly women because I did a lookalike of our current customer list. So we are, we are bound by our area in Northwest Florida by the territory I own. So the first one I did just where we own, I did a lookalike of our current customers and it performed really well. Now, mostly women watched it all the way through, um, but we had a lot of through plays. Very exciting with that. So then the next one, I went ahead and made one for men and one for women, the grill dad, the soccer mom. And I didn't do the lookalike audience. And I learned with the second one that the lookalike performed much better. When I tried to just do our area with interests, it, it didn't go as well. But in the long run, here's all the different um, ads I ran. So brand awareness, brand awareness. And then we got to the irresistible offer. Those are my twins. Um, they're 10 years old now, but when they, when I took that picture, they were about seven and they're tired of being in the yard <laughs> when they're getting bites. So we did our mosquitoes driving you nuts, buy three, get the fourth free. And I had two um, lead forms. One I did through Facebook. I had to go through corporate and get uh, the ability to be able to see those leads. So I went to the website. When we were on the website, we, um, we ended up actually getting quite a, a great result. So now that corporate has set it up, I will go back to the Facebook lead form that I created, um, but it worked quite well with them going straight to our website with the request to quote. So super excited about that. Um, 
we ended up spending a total for all the campaigns of $309.46. We sold seven people and my phones will not stop ringing today. So I'm not running ads currently. I'm, I haven't even had time to do another one. But, uh, my office is like, if you run another ad right now, I'm going to. <laughs> so that's how good um, it is for us right now. But we have paused the ads for a second. We're coming up on Memorial Day weekend. It's a little bit insane. So we have spent $309.46 for seven sales. So I'm not sure if I got the equations right, but that's 1.68 return on our money right now. And in the future, we're looking at potential sales of just this year as 7,435. And in the future, we're looking at probably 35 to 40,000 for lifetime value. Of those customers so you can see the link clicks for the for the actual um last ad i did and then the sales so biggest ahas the customer journey for me i really i know about touches i know they see the rate or they hear the radio this tv the van the signs but i really did not fully understand the customer journey and all the routes that a customer might take so that was my biggest aha moment and really finding the difference between a lookalike audience and then not finding your bubba makes a big difference. So, and I kind of relate to not being, I don't like to be on social media. I like to be in the moment. So having to get there, but what's next is I'm just going to stay involved on a weekly basis and I'm going to keep running ads. I think now I need to run a now hiring ad um, because <laughs> of the way it's going, but it's a good problem to have. So that's going to be my next step. I was talking to Nathan about and then update Google and Facebook often. And, and the bottom is just to test, test, test. So we're really excited for this season. And I cannot thank BizHack enough for everything that they've done um, to help our business. I, I mean, you spend $300 and, you know, this is compared to our marketing program, um, our mailer program. This is amazing. So super excited. <laughs>